In this video, I will show you how you can find t-critical values using the t-table. Suppose we have a degrees of freedom of 6. No matter what kind of t-procedure we are using, once we find the degrees of freedom, then we can easily find the critical value. This is the same for all t-procedures. We first go to the degrees of freedom of 6 on the t-table. So here, this would be this go down, we have degrees of freedom of 6, and we would scroll across the row until we find the column that matches up with a 99% confidence level. So if we scroll down, we'll see down here it says 99% confidence. So it's going to be somewhere in this column, match the column of 99% with the degrees of freedom of 6, and we get a critical value for a 99% confidence interval to be 3.707. All right, so let's do another one. Suppose we have a degrees of freedom of 25, and we want to find a confidence level for 90%. We can perform kind of the same procedure where we first find our row of degrees of freedom, so we scroll down until we find 25. And sure enough, the degrees of freedom for 25 are right here. We'll scroll across the row until we find the column that matches up with the confidence level that we want to do. We want to do a 90% confidence interval. So that means that our critical value will be 1.708. And lastly, if we want to find a confidence level of 95% and we have degrees of freedom of 58 and we want to find the critical value for that. We scroll down to the degrees of freedom of 58 and we find that actually on this table there is no 58. So 58 would go right here but there's no 58. So what will we do? We always round down. So even though 58, the degrees of freedom is closer to 60, because we don't actually have 60 observations, but we do at least have 40, we'll always round down to the next lowest degrees of freedom. So to find the critical value for 58, even though it's an imperfect thing to do, given we're just using this table, we have to round down to 40 and then match it up with the 95% confidence level. So our critical value is 2.021. Again, you can get a better estimate using software than you can with the table, but for a quick critical value, you can easily use this t-table to find your critical value for any levels of confidence and really any degrees of freedom.